Night marks one month since eight year old Sequoia Turner was shot and killed in southwest Atlanta and her family now demanding justice while expressing love for a young life taken all too soon. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy joins us live tonight with more on this story. Jamie. Tracy, a lot of passionate speakers tonight for little Sequoia Turner and a lot of those people calling out those who have stayed quiet. Sequoia! 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 The family and community chanting and not forgetting the eight-year-old girl who was tragically killed near the Wendy's where Rashad Brooks was shot and killed by police. Let us pray. We thank you for her beautiful, short life. Sequoia Turner was killed one month ago. Speakers passionately calling out those with information for staying quiet. Uh, it's just deeply troubling that people would not step up for this young lady, would not step up for her family, um, and there should be no code of silence. 19-year-old Julian Connolly has been charged in conjunction with Sequoia's murder, but police believe there is more than one shooter. So we are at war. See, that's the second thing, Brother Davis. We are at war. What kind of mentality is it that we don't be in a rage about what happens to our kids? Community members saying it's not just the ones with guns with blood on their hands. If the city would have shut down activity, especially after the shooting in broad daylight, at that point in time, it's time to shut it down. Now, Miss... Now, Mr. Omalami, who works for Hosea Helps the Hungry, says that they are pushing for a law in Sequoia's name that would not allow any area in the city to be abandoned like they say the Wendy's area was. Live in Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.